Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. In today's video we are going to see one of the features that generate more curiosity within Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Salesforce has included artificial intelligence features in all of its platforms for several years now. They are now under the Einstein brand name. You have to keep in mind that although they have a common name, they are in fact completely different platforms in Marketing Cloud or Sales Cloud. And it's been even more complicated since Einstein is being used as a global brand name. For example, the former Salesforce Reports tool is now called Einstein Reports. But let's focus on Einstein Artificial Intelligence capabilities within Salesforce Marketing Cloud. With all the data we are storing in Marketing Cloud, there are many interesting areas where artificial intelligence can be used. The collection of capabilities provided by Einstein provides us with important information about our whole customer base, as well as on an individual level. With this knowledge, you can create much more personalized customer experience across all communication channels. Up to 66% of customers expect companies to understand their needs and expectations. Fortunately, we can use artificial intelligence to anticipate customer needs. Einstein features improve marketing cloud in two main areas, bringing additional data insights in marketing cloud and improving Journey Builder, the main tool for building customer journeys in marketing cloud. Let's have a look at the Einstein features available in Marketing Cloud right now. To personalize customer engagement, we have Einstein Engagement Scoring, Einstein Splits, Einstein Same Time Optimization, and Einstein Recommendations. If we want to improve campaign performance, we have Einstein Messaging Insights and Einstein Copy Insights. And to turn insights into actions, we have Einstein Engagement Frequency, Einstein Content Tagging, and Einstein Content Selection. Einstein Send Time Optimization tries to answer the question at what time I'm most likely to have the most opens in my emails from my contacts. Einstein Send Time Optimization allows us to add an activity in Journey Builder before the email activity that will decide for each contact the best time to send the email within the time interval we indicate. The machine learning model is based on three areas. The input. The model performs calculation using up to 90 days of engagement data and behavior of your contacts, including when messages are sent and open. Output. Each hour is assigned a score for each contact. Contacts are more likely to open a message if it is sent during an hour with high score. The model analyzes its contact based sending times and engagement data. Send times that have a higher open rates are more likely to have a higher score. When the sending time history does not provide enough information, recommendations are based on engagement data to generate the analysis. With Einstein engagement scoring, it is possible to get to know more and better my subscribers and their interactions with my brand. It is a predictive segmentation tool for Salesforce Marketing Cloud that estimates the engagement of subscribers with your email campaigns over the next 14 days. Another functionality that reinforced Journey Builder allows us to add scoring splits based on our subscribers' engagement with email or with our apps. Einstein categorized our subscribers into the following groups. Loyalists, high open and high click engagement. Window shoppers, high open rates and low click engagement. Selective subscribers, low open and high click engagement. Wingback or dormant, low open and low click engagement. This way we can create different branches in Journey Builder through drag and drop system and consequently further customize the customer experience. In addition, in the email channel, we can also choose to create different communication flows based on the propensity to certain actions like how to open the email, to click, to convert on the web, or even to remain subscribed. Einstein Engagement Frequency 
finds the balance between an optimal level of mailings for each of your subscribers and avoid saturating your audience. Einstein Engagement Frequency provides an optimal range of how many mails to send during a given period of time, comparing the frequency of sending and the level of interaction that our customers has had, the opens and clicks. The combination of these two factors will allow us to determine the optimal number of mailings for each customer. This functionality identifies those subscribers who are already oversaturated and also the opposite case, the subscriber whom we are under communicating. The split frequency available in Journey Builder establishes different routes for customers according to four options. If the customers are saturated, almost saturated, on target, or under-saturated. Einstein Engagement Frequency Model The model performs calculation using email engagement and behavior data from the last 28 days, including when messages are sent, are open, and unsubscribes. Output its contact engagement data is analyzed against the frequency of messages sent to them to generate a personalized engagement frequency score. Based on this score, contacts are classified as saturated, on target, or undersaturated message frequency. The model analyzes how often you send to each contact and how sending frequency affects engagement. Engagement generally increases as sending frequency increases until the contact reaches saturation. Contacts that do not have enough sending frequency data to generate a personalized engagement frequency score are treated as part of the on-target segment. As I mentioned before, all these features will help us to improve our subscribers' individual experience through the direct application in Journey Builder. But they also enhance our overall customer knowledge as they have a specific dashboard in the platform. Salesforce will continue to increase over time the artificial intelligence features in Marketing Cloud. My bet is that the improvements in customer segmentation are the next on the roadmap. And that's it for today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and leave me in the comments of this video the features of Marketing Cloud that you are more interested in learning more. See you soon.